Hello, everybody. Welcome to Spid's Infant Agents. Guys, Jude died in the friggin' Among Us video. It's tragic. We got Lauren with us. Hi. Lauren is today's Jude. Robert Rodriguez, our hot dad, <laughs> um, made a new Spy Kids movie. Heck yeah. What? I didn't know. I'm excited for that. Whoa. Whoa, guys, it's the sun. Those letters are too close to the sun. They're going to burn. Celebrating 10 years. <laughs> 10 years. Most, like, production studios are, like, 170 years old. And this one's, like, celebrating <laughs> six months. I think the first Spy Kids movie is more than 10 years old, guys. What are we doing here? It is. It's, like, 20 years old. Spyglass, because there's spies in this movie, guys. Get it? Because there's spies in the movie. The, there's probably glass, too. Spoilers <laughs> in the freaking title cards, as always. <laughs> 30 years in the chalkboard font. <laughs> Skydance ain't got nothing on Troublemaker Studios. Nothing. They've been around. Oh my God, it's the Temple of Doom. I can like feel the texture of those outfits. I know, right? It's like a laser tag outfit. But this is where we're supposed to complete the mission. If we get to this elevator, we can stop the countdown. Wow, acting. Why are they actually like three years old? <laughs> they're, they're literally eight. <laughs> Both of these actors are eight years old. Yay, child labor. Woo! Man, at eight years old, I was like eating glue. Bye, kids! They turned into the title card, guys! No! God freaking dang it, dude! <laughs> they fell into the title card machine. Why would they do that to children? <laughs> they went into the iMovie 3D title section. I don't support the death penalty. I support the iMovie title effects penalty. <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> oh, God, this is going to be such a good recording. Good morning, Mom. Hey. Games? 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 Are you trying to get busted? Arms. Do you have games on your phone? That's a Switch. It's not a phone. Can I play Angry Birds on your tablet? Can I play uh, Where's My Water on your iPhone 3GS? Oh my god. Oh my god. I just got a flashback. For breaking the rules and stealing my key, you will have no access to any tech of any kind for the rest of the week. They don't even get like a phone to text anybody? No. Nothing. They get to have to learn an ancient eagle cry to contact their parents. <laughs> These guys look like professionals. Mm. We'll pay them a visit. It's a bit early into the movie to talk about this, but I kind of do think this movie is fine. It's not like Spy Kids 4 where they were like, um, what if everything was different and it sucked? What if we did absolutely nothing that got us our money in the first place and then made it bad? Defeat the Heck Knight to gain access. This should be easy for you. Mira. Is this another video game thing where he's like, yeah, I played as Rat Thick Skull so I can beat the bad. Oh my God. Imagine this, if you will. You're a Russian spy trying to get like the launch codes for all the nuclear weapons and Minecraft shows up and you have to defeat like the Ender Dragon or something. That is pretty much part of this movie. I love and hate that at the same time. Lowest number wins. Beat. Oh God, not the heck no. Or as Rat Thick Skull would say. Tough tacos, kid. It's like very obviously cheating. Didn't even come out of his deck. Yeah, he literally didn't even pull it out of his hand. He was like, oh man, that sucks. Hey, look at this, I dropped it. And here is Ray Kingston to talk about how he does it. My latest game, High Score. He's the bad guy. I already, I can already tell that's the bad guy. It's Casey Neistat. <laughs> no, that's Ray Kingston. It says his name right there. He's the creator of High Score. My bad, my bad. High Score is made using my new flawless- Oh God, there's a skeleton behind him. No, that's in front of him. It's on the hologram desk. Don't you see, Bren? Oh God, there's a skeleton in front of you. It's right in front of me, isn't it? It's. <laughs> He's right in front of me, isn't he? The world is full of terrible, unfair people. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I told you. Of course he's the villain. What do you think? It's the Game Master or like the game, whatever his name was in Spy Kids 3. The Game Master from Rebecca Zamolo in the Halloween Hacker Lord? No! Oh my God! No! Oh my God! Worst spy ever. 
worst idea ever. That is the PlayStation 4 looking interface. That is an Xbox and they're using Switch Pro controllers. Just figured I'd let you know. <laughs> oh yeah, and she's gonna hold Joy-Cons in a minute too, trying to connect as she's pushing random buttons. You know what they could have done? Black electrical tape. You know what they could have done? Use the correct controllers. I know that face. Thank you. Bro looks like a deep fake. <laughs> <laughs> he does. Oh my gosh. Thank, thank you. Armageddon code is gone. Stolen. What? Right out from under us. I know Armageddon. Oh my god, it got stolen by the game that they were playing. <laughs> Access denied. That's high score, Dad. A game. Granted. Um, you just press the keys like that. Wow, you hit like W. All the adults except for the game dev in this game like can't play video games. Wow, boomer moment. Boomer moment. Um, they can't play the video game. Um, I'm pretty sure I know more about high scores than you do. I widowy know all the cheats in high school. Guys, widowy, I know everything about high school. My life is literally a video game, so no one is beating me at high score. We can't beat the game. That's my friend leaves. Access denied. And now we're locked out of our <laughs> I love the game on the tiny little smart lock display. Hey, man, you got games on your house? My favorite gaming console, the Ring Smart Doorbell. That's my TV! <laughs> Yeah, her, her husband just got his spine severed, and she's like, oh my god, my plasma screen. Don't touch my TV! Bad guy. Oh, and look, it's the Texas State Capitol. We know it now, guys. No, th that's obviously D.C. What are you talking about? It's it's beige. It's not white. That's how you know it's in Texas. Yeah, it's the beige house, not the white house. We gotta go manual and get to the safe house ourselves. A switch. Nice. A switch. I swear. It's a freaking switch light. A submarine that sank but epic. Yeah, it's like the Logitech controller from Ocean Gate. Going the wrong way. That was kind of impressive, Patty. That was kind of epic. <laughs> that was kind of poggers. I'm um, pretty sure that was kind of awesome, Patty. If we were on Reddit, I would give you Reddit gold. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, upvote IRL. And then we got the wipe from the OG Spy Kids. I love that this movie is just all three of the first Spy Kids movies just like shoved together. It's awesome. It really is. I'm 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 a fan. I'm I'm enjoying this so far. Your name, uh, Patty Torres. Your full name, please. My dad name is Tango and my mom's is Torres. Oh, they took the mom's last name. He's a cop. No, they're doing the full name thing. They're doing the full name thing from the, from the, uh, from the, from the, from the, the treehouse. From the, uh, yeah, that. There's comfort for sleep. Oh my God, beds. Those look like the most uncomfortable beds I have ever seen. Looks like freaking Minecraft, dude. <laughs> also, is that ladder just, there's no footholds. Yeah, you put your foot in the OSS letters. There's no room for a foot. Put your toes in there and try not to break them challenge. <laughs> put them grippers in there. Let's go upstairs and do gadgets. Okay. At least these kids actually feel like they're kind of not acting. They feel a lot more natural than Spy Kids 4. Yeah, I mean, Spy Kids 4 was just a trash movie. But they had the Ricky Gervais dog. What do you mean? <laughs> no, that means it more of a trash movie. What are you talking about? Yeah, I know. It was awful. And God, it was so bad. This is the Spy Kids 4 we deserve. It's because Harvey Weinstein didn't have a single thing to do with it. And with game theory, anything can be fixed, even this sorry world. I, I can't believe Matt Pat's the villain of this movie. Okay, would it have been epic if they casted Matt Pat as this dude? That would have been hilarious. I would have loved this movie even more than I do. Maybe your children will be a little more helpful than you could. That is a C920 webcam that he's holding. Oh my god, it is. It actually is. That is so funny. It's a Nintendo Switch to control the car, a webcam to project a hologram. I wish they had the Wii U in this, in this movie. <laughs> it couldn't be a spy gadget. It's way too bulky. No, 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 bad, sit, no. We have all the time no. in the world. No, no, no. They knew what they were doing. They knew what they were doing. No, 
absolutely not. <laughs> Don't ever say those words again. We have all the time in the world. Of course they knew. That was like the most obvious reference. Oh, I hated that so much. How dare you make me think of that godforsaken movie again. Wait a minute. I just remembered something. The Great White Bites. Oh, it's the Great White Bites. This is the most fan service movie that could have that it could have been. They were really like, hey, do you remember everything ever from the other movies? We're gonna put it in this one, but it's gonna be good. I'm convinced that they've seen our videos. I wish mom and dad were here now. Well, they're not. They're out spying. <laughs> <laughs> they're spying all over the place. It's spying time. Mom and dad's job is to lie and break the rules. I don't care if it's their job. They tell us to be honest, but they weren't with us. Uh, I'm so mad. Mom and dad lied to me. They weren't super duper honest. I don't know every single detail about my parents' life. Dude. Ah! Mom and dad lied to me. I'm eight years old. I'm widowy eight years old, and my mom and dad are lying to me about being spies. Widowy mom and dad are like imposters from Among Us. <laughs> They're gonna get voted out. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, they're gonna get ejected. Holy crap, Lois. <laughs> oh my god. I literally saw mom and dad vent. They're so dishonest. <laughs> oh look, in case anyone ever wonders where all the spies are. Thank you. <laughs> that is what I've been saying for four movies. Literally from our videos. There's no way. There's no way they didn't see that. Yeah, they had to have seen it at some point. I have had that complaint with their buildings every single time we've watched a Spy Kids movie. It's been a common bit. Like, oh, if anyone wonders where the spies are, this is giant police. This is OSS. <laughs> Don't get carried away, kid. I just want you to beat this video game so we can access our systems. There's no gamers in the OSS. Nope. Absolutely no gamers. Mm -mm. You gotta be kidding me, man. They don't have any time to game. They're too busy spying. Get in there, kid. Wow. Yeah, you definitely need to hit all of those buttons to walk. F caps lock shift and like E. System's back online. I do think it's very funny that the supervillain is not trying to like end the world or like destroying governments. No, it's literally just, hey, if you want to do anything, you have to be good at video games. And that is all I want from the world. His goal is just to make everyone gamers. But if everyone is gamers, then no one will be. The most oppressed group of all, gamers. His new game high score is what you're seeing on every device across the world. How is the game running on like ATMs and smart locks? Listen, you can play Doom on a TI-83. It's, it's not that hard. No, but this game had decent graphics. It looks like it would barely run on a Switch. To be fair, the Switch doesn't run many games very well, so. Or it's all cloud gaming, the future of gaming from gaming. I love gaming on clouds. So really hoping that would just explode and die right there. I'm glad this plane knows the landing approach for this secret layer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Can I get vectors on the runway real quick, please? I could have told him everything, but instead I scolded him and I put tech restrictions up just to protect the code. The kids don't even know that that's why everything they love is being kept from them. Gosh, why is his nipple so hard? <laughs> Man is just cold all the time. <laughs> he is really chilly. Someone give him a blankie. The world's tightest shirt. It's a spy shirt, Josiah. A spurt. It's the, it's the spurt. Oh my God, it's Oliver. It's Olive Garden. And within minutes, the code will be ready to fire. What? Oh. Oh. No. It was the king all along. Or no. Hey, I'll be right back. I think Oliver's hungry. What do you think of this movie so far, Brad? I honestly kind of like it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> like, it's it's just fun. It has, like, all the good elements of Spy Kids. It's all mashed together. I actually like it. Like, the acting is decent. The effects are actually good. I mean, they still have that little bit of crust on them. It's a healthy amount of crust. Well, I could come up with a fantastic plan if I just had a map of this crazy place. <laughs> oh, yes. Saying boop when touching a spy watch is probably the best thing I've ever heard. I'm telling you, she's, like, the better sibling. The other one's a butthole. Boop. I feel like a spy whenever I use my Apple Watch. It's awesome. We love you too. This looks like the Washington, D.C. airport right now. We already talked about this, Josiah. It's not Washington, D.C. It's Houston. That looks like the giant freaking hallway in the D.C. airport, though. <laughs> Oh, yep, here we are. This was like the beginning of the movie. Holy crap, Lois. <laughs> Imagine it's the logo again, and that's the end of the movie. Oh, that would actually be kind of funny. 
Wait a minute. The ultimate VR gaming experience. This is what a uh, ninja's gaming setup looks like. <laughs> yeah, he's just in the middle of a volcano. This is actually the supercomputer from Incredibles. <gasps> yeah. The last part of the plan had a trick to it, but you couldn't tell if it was complete or not because you had to do the same steps back. I hate movies like being vague about like their tech. This thing does stuff does that thing and this and that you gotta do the puzzle backwards he's building the armageddon code <laughs> this entire broken planet will be fixed by high score a game that makes you a better person as you play what do you mean by better like better gamers or better people as he's implying better people but what does that mean does it teach you good morals no just better better gamers better ingredients better pizza papa john's man this sounds fun i wish i could game on the atm out outside of Fifth Third Bank. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Patty. He's controlling Armageddon from inside the game. He's controlling Armageddon from inside the game. High score. Did you know that this game's high score? It's my favorite video game. You know how you always tell us that video games will fry our brain? Yeah. If we lose, this game might actually fry our brains. You die in the game. You, you die, die in real life. life. Oh my God. It's like, it's like Sword Art Art Lord. <laughs> Sword Art Art Lord. Sword Art Art Lord. I almost dated a dude that, like, really loved Sword Art Online. Oh, my God. Dodged a bullet there. Dodged a missile. We have to get to that giant statue to find the king. Dude, I love how this is just straight up a high-quality version of the Spy Kids 3 game. It really is, though. This looks better than Ant-Man, for real. Shout out to Ant-Man throwing that baby in a microwave. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it was the Flash. It was Ezra Miller. Don't tarnish Paul Rudd's name with Ezra Miller's actions. Use your bracelet. It's like a spy gadget. It's like a spy gadget. It's like it's a spy gadget. Like like I don't know if I can win this without my tricks or cheats. What if I lose? Worth it. What a casual gamer. Has to use cheats. Just use his action replay to play high score. <laughs> also, did she just say worth it to him losing? <laughs> this feels like episode three of Star Wars now. Oh, guys, the lava's blue. That means it's really hot. That's true. It's science. Patty's way. Ah, no, Ew, stop. Gross. gross. Ew. Cooties. I would never kiss someone. <laughs> I will follow you, for your integrity is pure. <laughs> so dumb. This is the most campy ending they could have thought of. Floor seven. Yes. Lobby. Elevator noise. Oh my god. Your father's breaking the rules. Why would you? Okay. Because if they break the rules, they'll lose. Oh. There you go. You got it. I sorry. I like dissociated for half this movie. <laughs> Hey, look, you're filling in for Jude perfectly. <laughs> yeah, <I am. laughs> I never thought anyone would ever earn that. The one hit. What the fart? What the flip, dude? The one piece is real. You're cooked, dude. Now we just have to inspire the world to be better. You know, instead of forcing everyone to be gamers. They bonded over being gamers, and that is the solution to the movie. That's true brotherhood right there. You're the king now. What if he eats it and it's just chocolate? <laughs> oh God, it's cake. <laughs> <laughs> cake. He fades away into dust. Well, <laughs> Tony just doesn't wake up because he's the king and he's stuck in that world now. He's a Tony loaf now. <laughs> yeah. You're saving me? You'll be saving yourself by working through your own game. And with game theory, anything can be fixed. Yeah, but that's just a theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching. Oh my gosh, he's using game theory to heal himself and his trauma. I'm going to talk to my therapist and see if we can use game theory to heal me. <laughs> Hell yeah! yeah! Yeah. Heck yeah. I actually really enjoyed that. It's campy, it's dumb, but it's still Spy Kids. I liked it. That was, that was fun. I didn't hate it, honestly. There were some really dumb parts in it, but like, that's just Spy Kids. I kind of thought that like, um, they were going to bring back Junie and... Um, no, see, they, they already did that in the fourth movie. And it sucked. Yeah, and it was bad. Well, I thought they were going to do it again since it was retcon. If they would have done it again, I would have killed them. Robert Rodriguez said that this is a completely new generation of Spy Kids and they're playing on making more of 
for them. What? Heck yeah. Stay subscribed for more Spy Kids and to see when Ju gets out of the hospital. Yeah, he had some very grievous injuries from the Amogus. Since he isn't here, we all have to say have a day together. Three, two, one. Have, have a day. 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 <laughs>